Hi everybody, um, it's Paul here from my Art YouTube tutorial channel. I uh, hope you're well. Um, so, um, I'm going to ch change style slightly. I'd normally do cartoon characters uh, and uh, animals, things like that, for these illustration uh, or doodles. Um, just to teach you how to draw things. I'm going to do um, something that I found on a similar idea to what I found on uh, uh, a website called Doodle Art, um, which is kind of for more for street art or street artists. Um, and I found this French um, fella called Guil, which is G U I L, uh, and he did this one back in nine, uh, 2019. Uh, but I'm going to change it and adapt it completely so. Um, it's not going to look that original anyway, but um, I'm a geography teacher uh, by trade, so obviously um, regularly I'd, I'd help students understand things like uh, earthquakes and volcanoes. Um, so what my plan is, I'm going to do a small volcano down here, uh, and then erupting from the volcano is going to be uh, a series of orange and red um, superheroes and, and characters and street art um, doodles and a few flames and things and we have some lava coming down it as well I'm doing this in pencil crane the original was done in uh, Copic or Copic pens which are really really expensive but really good marker pens um, so we're going to try this I'll show you a basic volcano tonight and then the next few nights I'm going to start developing a uh, a plume of smoke uh, and flames coming out so we'll have this um, this effect of the volcano erupting okay so I'm just going to do it I've, I've put my pad quite close um, I'm going to draw right down to the edge here I'm going to take the volcano off off the page and I use half of my A3 pad for this I think just to keep it nice and small for colouring in okay um, so what we want to do is, if you can see this edge here, I'm going to go to about here with a jagged piece of rock, okay, and we're going to go to about here for the top of the, the crater of the volcano, okay, and we're going to bring it down this direction, okay, um, so I'm going to just draw out where I'm, I'm planning on drawing my uh, volcano up to about here. We'll have the, the crater about here, okay. And this is all going to be done in pen over the top of pencil crane, okay. Um, so I'm going to use my Fabus Castell pencil cranes. I'm going to have a jagged piece of rock up here. And we're going to have the crater here. Now I've recently, well last year, we went to um, we went to two locations where they have an enormous amount of volcanoes. Um, as a geography teacher, we took a field trip to Iceland, we went to Reykjavik, and then the following year we went to Sorrento uh, in Italy, in southern Italy, uh, and I've been up uh, Vesuvius, um, so what an experience that is, if you ever get a chance to do that, it's an unbelievable place. Um, so I love teaching about volcanoes. So we're going to go take this down, this is just a basic... Um, drawing of a volcano I mean, you can do your own shape if you want to this is the kind of um, landscape that you'd see more so in um, science fiction films really it's um, it's very much a stylized it's not accurate really um, it's just a sketch okay so we'll have a jagged piece of rock here okay um, and what I want to do is just to to bring in, it's kind of a cartoon version of lava flowing down here. So we're going to have some big sections of lava. Now this is very gloopy, or what they call in geography, viscous, highly viscous um, <clears throat> lava. It's very slow running, it's like treacle. Um, if you've got any treacle in there, like golden syrup or something like that, if you drop that off on your, in your kitchen floor, on your kitchen floor, it wouldn't flow very far. Um, 
quite slow moving okay so that's that's what I want to achieve that kind of look all right um, now we're just going to draw in where we're going to have some more lines going down the page okay so we're going to have one coming in there we're going to have one wavy line there um, we're going to have a few coming down here now like this okay I'm going to draw this one more like that I have a line coming in uh, these are all going to be black okay and the top of the volcano um, we're going to have it curved at the top here okay that's not like the original piece of art at all okay and then down here we're going to have this crack this crack's going to carry on in this volcanic rock Okay, and we're going to have a piece like this. Okay, so that's that's basically our sketch of. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, there's a little bit of shadow here from because it's late at night. I'm doing this. Um, that's what I'm going to make it look like. Okay, um, so we can crack on with the pen. I'm using a fine liner here. I'm going to go down the edge. There's a lot more detail to add on this. What I might do is I might start it off this evening. This will go out on. Tuesday. Um, once I'll load it up on your YouTube channel later. Um, so you guys can start having a go at this. Um, good news today, we've gone past 200 subscribers and we've also gone past 3,500 uh, watches of the videos, which is unbelievable. Fantastic, trying to support people at home, stuck at home during the COVID-19 pandemic if you can share these videos that'd be wonderful if you can share them with friends family your own contacts um, social media sites so if you can get some more subscribers in the next few days I'd be amazed if I can get when we actually come out of lockdown if we can get to a thousand subscribers that'd be like dream come true really um, that means it's then got into as many households as possible during the the outbreak and it supported people who are either bored at home or parents that want to get their kids to do some more creative stuff or even adults that want to have a go. I've got quite a few adults that are doing these videos with me. Okay. Um, so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. It's really easy to get a YouTube account if you've not got one. Um, you just need an email address really and a, a password. Um, the watch hours now currently sitting at about 165 hours in total. Um, both my daughters have now got involved with uh, demonstrating their art skills as well, which is great to see. Um, even my four-year-old had a go today and they're all they, both my daughters are having a go at um, some of the pieces of art as well they've both done the sloth one that I did and the unicorn poop, pooing, uh, or pooping um, rainbows okay so I think I'm happy with that so far um, just put a bit of black in there, just make that a little bit thicker. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go through what I would do with the colors for this. Now I want, bear in mind that I want my characters that are coming out of this volcano to be, um, to be reddish in color. So I was thinking of like Deadpool, Spider-Man, uh, all sorts of uh, characters like that. If you can think of any more, you put them in the um, messages on this video that would be great and I can add them to the collection up here okay um, and if you want to request request any personally I'll give you a big shout out as well on the on the next video for this one um, if you've got any ideas of what what kind of characters or street art that you'd like to see uh, we in the um, in the ash cloud okay um, so, from a ge geographical term, ash cloud, we might have some volcanic bombs coming off here as well with little cartoon characters or emojis or something like that. 
Um, so I'm going to start off with um, with a, a um, with the reds and an orange. I've got four reds here. I've got a really dark, almost brown red. Uh, these are the uh, Faber Castell classic colours that I'm using here, and all the links are on my uh, description of these videos. You can get these from Amazon, probably the easiest place to get them. A uh, pack of about 60, I think, for uh, 13, 14 pounds. Really good quality pencil crayons. Um, so the original design idea on Doodle Art was uh, in Copic marker pens, but I'm going to do this totally in um, in uh, pencil crayons with a little bit of um, black fine liner over the top. Um, so we go in for the reds and then the volcano itself. I don't really want to do it grey, very very much grey. So I'm going to go for a little bit of black, a couple of greys. Uh, and some darker blues and a little bit of purple and then at the bottom of the volcano I'm just going to bring back the red okay so I'm going to start with that lava flow I think I think that's what I'm going to do this evening okay um, and this is where you can you may you can have fun with this really so I'm going to start with um, this um, lighter red okay so I'm going to start at the top uh, I'm going to work my way down, but I'm going to leave a few bits for yellow and a little bit of uh, yellowy orange and a little bit bright orange as well. So I'm just going to start working down to start off with. I'm going to go down the edges with this brighter red. Okay. Now over the next few nights, I'm going to hopefully add more to this and finish this off. This isn't going to be completely finished this evening. Okay. So the next few nights I'll try and do a little bit more um, artwork on this and build this up like I've done with the Mickey Mouse's curtain, like I've done that last few nights, last week or so. That seems to have gone down really well. Um, as I say, if you want to see any art, uh, or if you want to know how to draw certain things, or doodle certain characters or um, animals, just let me know in the uh, in the comments section or, or send me a message on, on YouTube. I'll always give you guys a shout out as well. Okay. I think what I'll also do, if I can get to 300 now, uh, whoever the 300th person is, actually what I'll probably, yeah, I was going to say whoever, the th that's not really very fair. Um, I might put all the names of the people uh, that are subscribers to my YouTube channel in a, in a big uh, pot. Um, write them all out and then get one of my daughters to draw them out and draw the name out and then I can always send you a piece of art that I've done. Okay, so I think that's what I'm, I'll do if we can get to 300 subscribers in the next few weeks. That's a big ask. Um, but if we can get there, we can share it. Um, and then, I don't know whether you'd want to choose a piece of art I've already done or ask me to do a doodle of something else, I can always pop it in the post. Um, even if you're global, I can send it to you if you're not in the UK. Okay, so we've got a little bit of red here coming in. Okay, um, now we'll bring some more red through this middle section and we'll bring it across like this. Okay. Um, and you don't want to see any white here, really, if you can help it. If you're doing a sketch anyway like this, you don't want to see any white. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a little bit of um, lighter, a bit of orange. Okay, so what we're going to have is a little bit of orange in this area here. Okay, bring that round. Um, and then we're going to just do a flash of orange up here. Bring some orange through here. Now we're also going to go over this in pen as well, so I'm going to just add some more detail with pen. Okay, so we'll go around this. We'll have another one of these shapes here. Now we're going to go through the or the yellowy colours. So I've got a, like a lemony yellow and this orangey yellow. So I'm going to use the orangey yellow first. So I'm going to go through 
this kind of thing, okay? So we'll go through some some yellows here. We can always go over it again if, if we want to, if we want to make it a bit darker later on. But we're just going to pick out some of this yellow here. Okay, a little bit of yellow at the top. Okay, and then we're going to do flashes of yellow like this. Okay, so I'm just going nice and loose now um, with my pencil crayon. A little bit of yellow in here. Okay. And then I'm going to go darker. Okay, so I'm going to go darker red. Um, and I'm going to go around the outside edge, I think, just to darken this section up. Alright, and I'm going to have a darker bit in the middle. It's going to be running down here. Okay, over the top of the yellow if you want to. <laughs> Now don't don't brush um, your excess away. Uh, that's really important. You don't want to be doing that you, because it'll just smudge everything at this stage. Okay, so around here we're going to go darker, go darker here. Okay, um, much darker through this section here. Okay, so now I'm going to go the, 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 the even darker here with this brownie red and I'm going to have this coming through the top section here. Okay, I'm going to take it out of that line and take it through the top here of the crater. Okay, um, now in this section we need a little bit more dark down here. Um, we'll have a little bit darker on this edge here. Okay. <clears throat> a little bit in the in the middle here, okay. Now what I want to just do is go back to that original red that we were using, which is the, the lighter of the reds, and bring across some more red into this area here. Okay. So you're just building up this, you're making it, I mean, you can go with the flow, literally, with the flow of the of the lava here. You know, make it uh, your own, really. Make it look different to mine. Um, I'll have a little bit more red over the top of that yellow there. Okay, so you don't really want too much of that yellow showing through, so I'm now going over that yellow, and it's making the... The red a little bit more orangey because the yellow's underneath it. Okay, so this is what I'm doing now. I'm just going over the top very lightly. We want a little bit more red in this section here. Okay. All right, that's good. So now um, to pick out the shapes, we'll go back to the fine liner here. So what I want to do is just, I'm going to draw a line here like this, across. All right, I'm going to bring some lines down like this, okay? Um, so this is the style I'm going to go for now. So if you watch what I'm going to do now, This is the kind of thing I'm thinking. Right, make it look cartoony. All right. What we'll do is we'll do another one here. Like this, all right. Um, what you want to do here is try and stay in the, the darker sections if you can work around the lighter sections all right um, we'll do another one down here like this okay um, another one through here smaller one there one in here Bring a line up here like this. All 
Right, so it's more stylized. This is. It's really kind of not my usual style of art, but it's it's going to be really effective. Okay, so we can always add to that later on if we want to. All right, so now I'm just going to go with some of the blues, just to show you how I'd do this: the blues and the greys and the blacks. Okay, um, so I'm going to get rid of the reds for a while, uh, and we're going to have a little bit of purple as well. Um, and a few of the greys. So this is the, the kind of colours I'm going to go for here. Hopefully you can see those colours. Um, so we've got a couple of greys, a couple of purples, uh, a black and a couple of blues. Okay, And this blue is quite sparkly. So we're going to start with um, the dark sections. Now where you've done these lines, we can darken this side up. Okay, So we're going to get a darker blue. I'm going to start going down this edge with dark blue. Okay. And we're going to stick with that for now because I quite like that colour. All right. So if you can see some lines on the on the page, I'm going to draw a couple more down here. I think um, from this section here. So we'll do another one there. All right, and we'll do um, another one down here. So it's like cracks in the in the rock, okay. Um, and what what you can then do is if you can if you stay on this side of the line with your dark blue, it'll show that it's got shadow. All right, and it'll look very craggy, which is what exactly what we want, really. Okay, so. You want it that dark that you can't see the black line. You don't. You want to still be able to see the line, okay? Because it is a cartoon rather than a piece of realistic art, okay? So uh, that's the kind of thing I'm thinking of. Um, and then we're going to get this lighter, slightly lighter, sparkly blue. Um, and what I want you to do is go around the outside edge of this. So you go now, and you can blend this in. Okay, down to about there. All right. Um, and you've got big sections of blue here. But this is where you're going to start bringing streaks of purple in as well. Okay, so we're going to start using this blue a little bit more. Grab a purple. Okay, because we're going to have start having some purple streaks down like this, okay. So we get a nice dark purple there, in there. Okay, and it's going to meet another one up here. And then this one is going to go up and meet this black line here. Okay, so it looks like... There's a, a river of purple going down there. Okay, so um, again, we're going to have a purple streak coming in here. All right. Um, it's going to carry on up here like this, and it's going to stop there. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at there. Okay, so I'm going to start building this colour up now. And on the inside of this um, this lava flow, you're going to get a dark blue streak down the outside. And then it's, we're going to lighten it up here. Okay, so I'm going to grab a much lighter blue. All right, because I do want to have some... This is a sky blue. I want to have some light as well as shade. Okay, so we've got some lighter bits here coming in okay so again it's going to extend down here and this is where you can just have fun with your colors now you can make it as bright and bold as you like okay on this side I'm going to go much darker and um, so I'm going to go almost black uh, in this on this edge here so I've got a darker purple Okay, it's going to curve around towards towards the top. 
Right, but coming down here, it's going to be much, much darker. I think what I'll do is I'll finish it there, blow it away, uh, and then I'm going to use my fine liner actually, and I'm going to do a black line down this edge here. Okay, I've used this fine liner so much, I think it's running out very soon. I have to order some more. Okay, so we've got that black line in there, okay, and a black line. Um, Featuring next to this one. Okay. Back over that. There we are. So we've got some purple there. I'm just going to put a little bit of black in there now. Just to darken this purple even more. Okay, not the whole purple. Just I'm going to just do the very inside edge there. Okay, so we've got some black on the inside over the top of that darker purple. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with this blue with the black because I want this darker here. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do there. All right, um, in terms of dark patches now, I'm gonna go back to this blue. I'm gonna color this section in blue. Okay. And then I'm going to go over it in purple a little bit just to give it a bit of a purple sheen on the inside edge. Okay, and then it's going to change to purple. And it's going to go past the blue that we've already coloured. Okay, so another river of purple down there. Alright, um, so you can just play, you can play with your colours then. You can just start bringing in a bit of dark, a little bit of black across here, bring another line in. Yeah, I'm using the pencil crane now. Okay. And across here, you can bring in a little bit more black. All right, down this edge. Make it a bit thicker, maybe. Okay. And we'll have a little bit more black in this area. Here. Okay, so... It's a little bit thicker line there, down the volcano. There we go. Um, so, it's looking good so far. Happy with that. Um... I think I'll probably just go across this section here now with a bit of purple. Okay, light purple, because I want to darken it up. Okay, I'm going to go across this one with a bit of a, a lighter or mid-blue. Okay, like this. Across here with the same blue. Alright, because I'm then going to go darker on the inside the edge there. Again, this, this right-hand side of this line here, this black line that we've put down here before, okay, um, and then on the inside of this purple, we're going to go for a darker purple, um, which is going to be flashing down here, okay, so we're just mixing the purples now, all right, um, and I think, yeah, I mean, you could go all night on that really, but um, I think I'm quite happy with that so far. Uh, what you can, I'll just show you is what I'm going to eventually do um, in this area up here. So I'm going to start doing lines like this across the, the artwork, okay, uh, and make it really stylized, okay. Um, I haven't quite finished this up here, but this is the kind of thing I'm going to be doing. All right, so it's going to look a bit like that. So it's going to be very cartoony, very... Um, Quite kind of trendy at the moment with this street art. Everybody's into doodling all these street art characters. Um, it's not true street art because you'd be using a spray can uh, on a wall somewhere. Um, I always fancied having a go at that on my own wall of my house. Maybe I'll do that one day. Sell a house for a bit of money. <laughs> um, like Banksy. Um, so, yeah, that's the kind of um, style we're going for. So see if you can have a go at that and get to the same stage I'm at, and then tomorrow night I'll do the same. Tomorrow I'll do an, an, another bit of uh, colouring with this, and we'll start creating the, um, um, creating the artwork, okay. What I'm just going to do is just show you very quickly what I'd be doing with the kind of flames coming up here. So, I'm gonna draw what I 
gonna do here is with the flames. All right. Just gonna be doing this kind of thing, okay? Um, with the flames there. Um, and we'll have another, we'll have another one coming over the top. One of this coming round here. Like this, okay. Um, so that's the kind of style that we're going to go for. Then we're going to have characters coming up here as well. Okay, um, so probably just do bright yellow for this flame on this side. Probably let it, if you were going to do it, you'd probably let that ink dry a little bit. Um, bright yellow, nice and light through here, almost white. Yeah. Um, and again, right down here, um, almost white at the bottom. Okay. And then we go into like an orangey yellow. Okay, so the similar orange that we've used in, in this area here. Okay. Um, and we go and try and mix it in now. And this is the kind of thing that we're going to achieve. Hopefully at the end it's going to look like a, a stylized volcano erupting. Doesn't look good on a t-shirt, that's what I reckon, when we've done a poster for your wall. There we go. So um, I'm just going to bring a little bit more yellow through here. Um, lemony yellow through here. Okay, that's looking good to me. Okay, um, I'll just draw a little bit more black down here. Um, and then what we want is some flames coming, coming up here. So I'm gonna draw some lines on the flames. So we're gonna do one there, do one like this. I'm gonna bring one round here, small one here. Okay, um, and then a couple of small ones like this. There we go. Um, so that's that's what we're going to hopefully um, show you um, how to do that. If you guys want to have a go at that and just send me any messages that you want to with this uh, at the bottom of this video, that would be fantastic. Uh, always great to hear your feedback, so make sure you subscribe, um, set your own YouTube account up if you can, get a parent to do that if you're quite young, uh, send me messages, kind of characters you want to see on this volcano, um, so we're going to do some of orangey red characters, so things like Spider-Man and Deadpool, but also some uh, really weird looking characters, maybe a couple of burning buildings, that kind of thing. Um, and we'll finish this off in the next week or so. So um, speak to you soon, guys. Anyway, you stay safe and uh, obviously keep social distancing properly and um, keep yourselves and your family safe and sound. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.